would be your New Year's wish to a young person in despair? Oh my gosh, um, for some peace. Really, to peace within themselves, not through anyone else, but just with, through themselves. I know that's one of the hardest things to do, God knows. We, I mean, there are adults that don't find it. I, I mean, I'm just starting to find it at almost 30, so it's, you know, um, just some, uh, to really love who you are without having someone to tell you that you're good enough. Just you telling yourself that you're good enough should be good enough. My wish to most people, or for everyone really, is that they feel loved, whether it be by their parents, by their peers, by strangers by anybody is it and so I, I, that's what I would wish for you know one single person if they didn't feel that that they would just feel love from someone maybe it's just one person if they don't feel comfortable particularly with their sexuality and having coming out and all those issues that go along with that they have the Trevor project 365 days a year they have many programs you know people that you can connect with in your community to know that you could find somebody who is like you nobody is ever the only one it's kind of cliche, but you know, God made you the way you are for a reason. So, um, so you should always be yourself, and that would be my wish. And that they enjoy being themselves, and they say, "What the hey? I am myself." You know, it's a great quote. I, be yourself. Everybody else is taken. And um, I think that it's the diversity in this country that makes it an enjoyable place to live. I wish that everybody would understand that and just embrace that. I wish that the the political candidates would stop using sexual sexuality to divide us. And uh, that message gets out to, to, to the kids and it, it, it's, it's a horrible message and it needs to stop. And these are people who are supposed to be literally representing us and they're just representing a small fraction of us. And it's, uh, I think that that's a place to start. You don't have to believe the things that people are saying about you. You know, the, the things, I went through a long period of being, being bullied in my school and I felt lucky because I could hear the things that people were saying, but you don't have to believe them. As much as it stings when they say the word, because you feel like you've been discovered, you know, it, it's, it, it, for me it created um, a little bit of an armor and a little bit of a fire to make my life really, really great. So I, that, that would be my wish. One thing I find, like, whenever you're struggling with yourself or having issues with yourself, it's like try to take the focus off of yourself and focus on other people around you because they're struggling just the same, you know? So it's like if you can share that love inside of you with them, it's kind of like your problems dissolve and people just kind of show up to help you as well, you know what I mean? So just, just give, you know, and share that and know that there's so many other people that are struggling right alongside of you. And so opening up about it is the greatest way to find healing through conversation and relationships. We need to love one another more. And so I, my New Year's resolution is that we have more love in the world so that people don't feel as isolated as they can do. What say to um, young people in distress during this holiday season? I would say call Tre the Trevor Hotline. It's 24-7 and there's always somebody there for you okay. to talk. Yeah. Hey, what's up, lesbian crew? How you doing? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>